In Windows 10, when we import a virtual machine from one server to another, or if we're going to use a virtual machine that we just recently virtualized, so say we took a 2008 or 2012 or even a 2016 server, and it was a physical server which we virtualized, and then we want to run it on our Windows 10 Hyper-V. Well, sometimes we have processor compatibility problems. So there's an easy way to fix that. So it in, ends up becoming more compatible. So what we want to do is choose with the virtual machine turned off to right click and choose settings on our virtual machine. From here, we're going to click on processor and then we're going to click on the plus sign and click on compatibility. So if we check the box that says migrate to a physical computer with a different processor version, then we'll say uh, we've got an Intel processor here, which is in this case an i7. And let's say that we took the virtual machine from an AMD host and we virtualized that. Well, most likely you're going to get compatibility problems. So you're going to want to check this box. Now it does limit some of the features of the processor. So uh, that mostly comes down to speed. So it may not run as fast as you would like it to run, but the fact that it's running at all is a good thing. So you, that's why you want to have the processor compatibility. Uh, other times it may happen with an older processor uh, host computer that you end up virtualizing and bringing it into this particular computer. So even though it's still maybe Intel on the old one and Intel on the new one. If it's too old, you might end up with that exact same problem as well. So that is why and how you would check the box for adding compatibility for processors that may not be compatible with your Windows 10 computer.